Okay, so when you have this error, setup did not find any hard drives installed in your computer, and you have set uh, IDE instead of AHCI in BIOS, the only thing you can do is use SP2 and then upgrade to SP3. This is what I'm gonna do, it will work for sure. That was my SP3, and this is Service Pack 2. So, let's reboot this motherfucker and it should work. I don't know why this is happening, but SP3 just won't work. The hard drive appears in BIOS. I set uh, IDE instead of AHCI, AHCI, and it still won't work. So, what I'm gonna do is use SP2, then upgrade to SP3 using uh, an update file. Okay, so let's boot the SP2 file, Windows. Well, see, it shows my hard drive, Western Digital, 80 gigs. Press any key to boot from CD. And if I'm right, when I click enter, I should see my hard drive and no error. This is gonna take a while until he loads all the files, but... This is a Fujitsu piece of shit. Old. DDR400. It has se serial ATA. Well, it does the job. This was actually Service Pack 3, and I tried different versions of Service Pack 3, none of them worked. Each of them showed the top didn't find any hard drives in your computer. So, I know for sure that Service Pack 2 will do the job. So Let's wait until he loads the files. Come on. Now, let's see. Set up a starting windows and I should see my hard drive. Boom! There it is. I still don't understand why Surface Pack 3 doesn't work, but Surface Pack 2 does the job. And after I install it, I will install the update and everything will go as planned. So, the next time your Windows XP installation does not find your hard drive, just use the service pack to Windows installation and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.